Project Voit is a new line of fully domestic electric vehicles that the Russian state corporation Rosatom is developing. Rosatom is renowned worldwide for its nuclear technology and advanced materials. The initiative is a significant diversification strategy by Rosatom, which now ranks among the few Russian industrial organizations capable of producing not only critical nuclear and composite materials, but also complete automotive systems of national origin. The Voigt project is centered on a modular, universal vehicle platform in the B&B Plus class, with the goal of developing various cost-effective electric vehicles that incorporate a significant number of Russian-made components. Project Voigt was initiated by Rosatom as part of its broader technological ecosystem, which includes sophisticated manufacturing, composite materials, and battery production in addition to nuclear energy. The primary objective of Voigt is to create a domestic electric vehicle platform that is self-sufficient and not reliant on foreign supply chains. This is a critical factor in light of the technological constraints that have been imposed on Russia in recent years. The initiative is consistent with the Russian government's objective to localize high-tech industries and enhance national capabilities in energy transport solutions. The Voigt developed vehicles will use a unified modular structure, which will facilitate the production of multiple body designs from a single base platform. This method expedites the time to market, reduces development costs, and restricts the necessity of infrastructure investments. Serial production will commence in 2027, following the conclusion of all relevant component development and prototype testing phases in 2025, 2026, as per Rosatom's roadmap. Rosatom's objective is to achieve a localization rate of over 90% in the final Voigt vehicles, with over 60% of suppliers being affiliated with Rosatom-owned companies. The corporation's extensive industrial network, which spans composite production, electronics, and functional materials, enables this integration. The lithium-ion traction battery, the electric propulsion system, control electronics, composite body shell, and thermal management systems are the main domestic components. The industrial backbone of the battery supply chain is Rosatom's Gigafactory in the Kaliningrad region, which is also significantly reliant on the project. The purpose of this new production facility is to provide support for Voigt and other Russian electric vehicle programs. It has an annual output capacity of up to 50,000 units and 42.6 kilowatt hours per battery pack. The plant's technology and automation level were developed from the ground up using in-house systems and licensed domestic equipment, assuring control over strategic inputs such as lithium, nickel, and graphite processing. The program's principal engineering accomplishment is the Voigt platform. It is founded on a unique structural principle that successfully integrates high modularity with mechanical simplicity, as developed by the composite division of Rosatom. The main load-bearing element of the structure is a composite beam known as the backbone, manufactured using pultrusion technology. This component simultaneously houses the traction battery cell and provides the vehicle chassis with structural rigidity. Designers can modify the wheelbase to accommodate various vehicle sizes within the B or B plus segment by adjusting the length of the backbone profile. The front and rear submodules of the chassis architecture are standardized. The vehicle's ends are equipped with identical assemblies that consolidate components such as steering knuckles, suspension arms, and subframes. This symmetry in design simplifies manufacturing and enables interchangeability of parts between models, as well as ease of maintenance. Consequently, the identical production line could assemble hatchbacks, crossovers, or small vans without the need for significant tooling modifications. The Voigt body exterior was manufactured by Rosatom's composite division, which implements sophisticated polymer materials. The body structure is a polymer composite sandwich panel that integrates robust insulation properties, minimal mass, and mechanical strength. The material configuration eliminates the need for welding and stamping operations, 
typical of conventional steel vehicle bodies. Additionally, the procedure employs rotational molding to fabricate body panels within a single production cycle. A dedicated painting line is not required as color is directly incorporated into the polymer mass. This simplifies repairs and reduces the environmental impact and production cost. The design offers enhanced durability and high resistance to corrosion in various climatic conditions. Providing versatility at a comparatively low cost, the interior and exterior geometry of the polymer shell can be adapted across models without significant tooling investment from an aesthetic standpoint. Diverse drivetrain configurations are feasible with the Voigt platform. Vehicles may be manufactured with dual motor, front motor, or rear motor configurations, depending on the intended application. A sequential hybrid configuration is also under consideration, in which a small internal combustion engine functions exclusively as a generator to extend the driving range without a mechanical connection to the axles. This architecture enhances operational flexibility in remote regions and decreases reliance on high-capacity batteries in early production models. The anticipated power output of the electric motors and battery range has not yet been fully disclosed. However, public domain information suggests that the 42.6 kilowatt-hour battery pack would suffice for urban and inner-city usage potentially spanning 300 to 400 kilometers under typical driving conditions. This is due to Rosatom's emphasis on the structural efficiency of the composite chassis, which enables smaller capacity batteries without sacrificing performance. The diminished vehicle mass results in a lower energy consumption per kilometer. Project Voigt introduces an economic model tailored for small to medium scale production with an objective of producing up to 10,000 vehicles annually. The deployment of production facilities in smaller industrial zones or repurposed existing plants is facilitated by the absence of heavy infrastructure, such as forging or welding lines. This distributed manufacturing model reduces logistics costs and serves regional markets. The platform's simplicity also enables cooperative production with other state or private entities interested in entering the electric vehicle industry. The estimated retail cost of Voigt vehicles is expected to be comparable to that of conventional internal combustion engine automobiles in the same category, such as the Lada Granta. The potential adoption rate across Russia's second-tier cities and municipal transport fleets would be substantially increased if this is achieved. This would mark a breakthrough in domestic affordability for electric mobility. The utilization of polymers and composites in Voigt's construction is not solely a cost-saving measure. It serves a broader technological innovation objective. Rosatom minimizes the number of containers, brackets, and connectors that typically add to the weight and complexity of electric vehicle design by integrating the backbone structure with the battery housing. This simplifies assembly and reduces the number of components. Additionally, pultrusion technology ensures scalability and provides reliable strength by pulling fibers and plastics through heated molds to create long shape. Battery trays are sizable components made of aluminum or steel that must withstand collision loads in traditional automotive engineering. In contrast, Voigt's integrated composite solution distributes these loads across the chassis backbone, enhancing rigidity and minimizing stress points. By reducing the energy required to move the structure, material savings directly translate into reduced battery mass. This allows designers to optimize for efficiency rather than sheer capacity. By 2026, Rosatom intends to finalize its main development efforts in control electronics, powertrain, and body composites. Testing of the prototype will commence shortly thereafter. Rosatom has already presented two prototype configurations, a crossover SUV and a compact cargo van. These prototypes serve as demonstration units for platform adaptability rather than final production models. Final vehicle specifications will be established before mass production in 2027 through structural testing, 
safety certification, and range trials. Concurrently, Rosatom's energy divisions are developing stationary energy storage systems and recharge infrastructure compatible with Voigt vehicles. It is anticipated that a domestic network of rapid chargers will be expanded along key transportation corridors and urban clusters, employing Rosatom's high-efficiency battery modules. Rosatom's systemic approach integrates vehicle and power systems within one industrial conglomerate, combining energy and mobility technologies. Beyond a single EV brand, the Voigt project aims to create a vertically integrated ecosystem for Russian electric mobility that spans material supply chains, component manufacturing, and end-user solutions. In a world dominated by large international EV producers, Russia could secure technological independence by leveraging high-quality materials, processing rare earth elements, and developing advanced batteries through Rosatom's coordinated strategy. Voigt also has the potential to stimulate regional industrial development. The Kaliningrad Gigafactory is expected to generate hundreds of new jobs and serve as a hub for smaller suppliers producing electrical systems, plastics, and related components. Localizing EV production in this manner reduces the need for imported lithium-ion cells, currently one of the most expensive elements in global EV supply chains. Although nuclear energy remains Rosatom's core expertise, its expansion into EV production underscores a broader approach to sustainable energy technology. The corporation aims to mitigate the environmental impact of battery production by implementing regulated energy-intensive processes and sourcing lithium domestically. The Gigafactory will likely operate using renewable or nuclear-based power, aligning with Russia's national goal of reducing industrial carbon intensity. Voigt's design phase incorporates recycling and reuse initiatives. Battery modules are designed for reuse in stationary energy systems, while the composite materials can be reprocessed mechanically or thermochemically at the end of their life cycle. Rosatom anticipates that the Voigt platform will evolve by 2030, potentially expanding to municipal and light commercial EVs. The modular design allows technical upgrades without major system changes, making it possible to improve battery and motor technologies with minimal disruption. This ensures long-term competitiveness against imported EV technologies. Initial domestic adoption is expected to be driven by fleet and government users, followed by gradual expansion into private markets as production scales. Financial incentives such as preferential financing, tax benefits, and state procurement programs may also support this rollout. In conclusion, Project Voigt represents a deliberate and technically grounded effort by Rosatom to establish an independent electric vehicle industry in Russia. By leveraging expertise in energy storage, composite fabrication, and material science, Rosatom has built a local and adaptable system capable of sustaining a full-scale vehicle ecosystem. The project's key attributes, platform modularity, high localization, and lightweight construction, offer a realistic path to affordable domestic EV production. With prototypes already undergoing testing and gigafactory construction advancing, Voigt has the potential to deliver a truly Russian-made electric vehicle for both commercial and private users by 2027. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us